Hi, I'm James Schellinglon. I'm here aboard the brand new Celebrity Ascend. We're in Fort Lauderdale and we're just going out for a little two-day cruise to check it out. I'm here with the pretty new president of Celebrity, uh, Laura Hodges Bethke, who is really, I mean, this is your first launch with the new it one. Is. And we're going to talk about that and a whole lot more. And you're going to find out about all this great new ship on Insider Travel Report. First of all, uh, congratulations. Uh, it's great that you're here. You know, I mean, you've been on a few launches over your time with because yes. you've been with Royal Caribbean how many years? 23 years now. And so you've seen your share of launches, but this is your baby, right? It is, and I'm so excited. It's a, it's You never forget your first. This is, is going to be my first. Yeah, so this is the, uh, the fourth in the Edge, edge class, right? And uh, have you changed anything much or are you you're pretty much sticking? I know there are a lot of some, some areas that have been redesigned. Somebody just pointed out to me that the, the, the famous uh, Daniel Boulou restaurant, Le Voyage, yes. has been redesigned. But what else is different about this ship? Um, well, it is the fourth in the Edge class series and it does have a lot of similarities to Beyond. We made lots of different changes on Beyond um, in terms of the, the two-story sunset uh, bar in the back, etc. But what we've done specifically on this ship is really leaned into how active our guests are and really added a lot of new entertainment and activities on board. So we've got three new shows in the theater. We've got a new show in the club that I'm crazy excited about. It's called Smoke and Ivories. It's really amazing. We've also got a lot of great activities in the club as well, um, multi-sensory activities. Um, and so I'm really excited about all of the new kind of programming that we've added on board the ship. Well, that's great. And that will be different from what I saw on Beyond. I was on Beyond, uh, was it two years ago, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Yes. And it was great. We were at Southampton and we just went out for two days. But that it's, it was a beautiful ship. And this is equally beautiful from what I've seen so far. I literally just got on board. So yeah. I'm going to be walking around as much as possible. Now, uh, how many ships does that give you now in the fleet? This is now number 16. And then when we launch Celebrity XL in spring of 25 or in, in fall of 25, excuse me, it'll be number 17. Okay, and that is the fifth in the in the that edge class. That would be the fifth in the edge class, and we've got lots of new surprises on her. We're gonna have seven new products and experiences that we'll launch on Excel um, that we're still kind of fine tuning right now. We're gonna start announcing those next year. Well, we're looking forward to that, but let's get let's get through this one. Absolutely. First, like that. Now, uh, what are you gonna do with some of your older ships? Uh, that that I mean, I knew you sort of celebritized a few of them over the last few years, and we were we were together on one of them just this. Yeah summer uh, with the next uh, uh, travel host agency and it still is a beautiful ship but it's it, this, this one is just you know another class beyond right yeah so we've got our millennium class we've got our solstice class and our edge class and we also have our ships in the galapagos that do a beautiful yeah, job nice. so when i look at our solstice class they're at you know about the 15 year mark so mm -hmm. call it you know they're a little bit middle-aged and they're beautiful ships hard that to believe got. to call the solstice class because you and i uh, probably no, were there yes, we were we were <laughs> and they're beautiful ships and there's so many of our loyal guests that love them so much and so we're dreaming up and thinking about how we want to modernize them so when they start going into their dry docking then we'll be adding some you know features and benefits and things that our guests love it's not um, uncommon for us when we launch a new ship something really hits and our guests love it and we try our best to roll it back and so we're really thinking through what are those things and mm -hmm. ways in which we can continue to surprise and delight our guests on board well absolutely and remember back in those days uh, to have a, a real grass lawn on a ship was yes. a big thing remember that? <laughs> yes yes and our guests still love it um, oh yeah so, no yeah. I, I was on it with the I was on it this, this summer and I thought oh wow this is I forgot about this yeah yeah it's a really beautiful space and to be able to be outdoors our guests want to connect with the outdoors and connect with the water and connect with the environment and so the more that we can do to create that ambiance is the better no. now um, for a few years there I got the impression that celebrity was being sold as sort of luxury uh, how are you selling celebrity today? Uh, what, where, I mean, or maybe the categories don't matter anymore. I don't know. But it, are you luxury? Are you premium? Where, where do you lie in the market? Well, I think that cus customers and guests really don't think about, oh, I'm going to go on a luxury vacation. I'm going to go on a premium vacation. I'm going to go on a contemporary vacation. They connect with the features and benefits and products that are offered mm -hmm. by different you know, uh, companies, and they decide that's for them or not. 
we have luxurious spaces on board celebrity ships. Our retreat is hands down luxurious, but we also have some beautiful ocean view staterooms with some beautiful inside staterooms. So our goal is to really be the best premium vacation in the world, full stop. So um, the best view, so it's premium. Right? Definitely premium when you think about the gamut of everything that we offer, yeah. right? And so it's a truly elevated experience on board the ships. Um, our travel agent partners, I spent for the last six months, so much time with our travel agent partners, so much time with our guests, reading their feedback. And their feedback that comes back consistently over and over is celebrities just better. Celebrities just better. Mm -hmm. Celebrities just elevated amongst everybody else. And um, so we have luxurious spaces and places, but we also have casual spaces and places. Mm -hmm. You can get a really great burger. Um, you can also get amazing fine dining in Le Voyage with Daniel Ballou. Okay. And so when you mix all of that together, it ends up in the premium space. Well, I remember, you know, if you have a big spa, you have big suites, and you have a Daniel Blue restaurant, that's, that's sounded more and more like luxury to me. <laughs> Absolutely, but there's also some of our guests that don't um, yeah. don't want to don't want to have that dining experience. They want to go sure. into you know craft social on board and have these amazing Gruyere tater tots, these awesome beef sliders, mm -hmm. and this great fried chicken sandwich. And so it sounds I, good to me. Yeah, <laughs> I want I want that too, right? And so I think it's really about creating the products and experiences that our guests covet and love that they, they tell us that they want, and then we create them, and then they can't vacation without them. Absolutely. Now, um, what are kind of the major brand pillars of celebrity cruises today? Well, the first, first and foremost, it has to be all about our customer, right? Mm -hmm. And so our customer tells us what that is, and our guests have five passion points, five reasons that they come back mm -hmm. to celebrity over and over again. The first one is our service. Um, they really believe in our wonderful level of elevated hospitality that we provide. And um, that is first and foremost, number one, that we have to stay true to and be really consistent with. Mm -hmm. Then they come to us for the destinations that we visit, um, for our amazing accommodations, for our entertainment and activities, um, as well as for um, a missing one. So I've got service. Accommodation, destination, our amazing culinary. How can I forget culinary? We were talking. The culinary, we're talking oh, about. We're just food. talking about food. That's why. Um, so really, well, let's talk less about the food because I'm a little worried. It's gonna be like after a while. <laughs> no, well, we've got 32 <laughs> amazing bars and restaurants um, and lounges on board the ship. So um, all we make sure that we're looking at those five guest passion points consistently and looking at ways in which we can elevate and innovate. And that's really the focus of what we do each and every day. Our guest is our north star. We take those five passion points and we just continue to build and build. And build upon them. And you have been doing that successively with all these new generations of ships and now with this class too, with Edge Class. Now, uh, you've been now president for so Celebrity for maybe about six months. A little right? bit over six months, but about six months. That's, that's, well, congratulations. Thank first you. Of all. And Thank you. Uh, what, what have you kind of focused on during this period? I mean, what have been the challenges and what have been kind of the opportunities that you've seen uh, as you've taken over? It's not like you're a stranger to the Royal Caribbean group. You've been working with them for a long time mm -hmm. and you've been actually working on this ship probably or, or its mm -hmm. predecessors. But what, what are you doing as president today? I think what's really important, again, and I, I know I'm going to sound like a broken record, but I think it's really important. Our our customers are really kind of where where it's at. We need to make sure that we're giving them all of the things that they want. And so that's what I've really spent the first six months doing is really listening and learning um, and then working to create the products and experiences that they want. So um, it's been a really exciting time putting together my leadership team, making sure that we're all kind of focused on the same goals and the same strategies, and then really just just listening and building new products and experiences for our guests. So what's it like being president now after all this time with Royal Caribbean and now it's your it's yours this is your baby. It is the most amazing experience. I often got asked cuz I've been at the company for 23 years. I've held many many different roles and they always ask, "Well, what's been your favorite job? What's been your favorite job?" I can say hands down well, now. Yeah, I think this now. is absolutely <laughs> the best job ever. Well, you, um, know, you don't have there's only one more above this, so they're yeah. in the company, that's yeah. for sure. Yeah, this is a this is the most amazing job, and it's because we get to create memories for people. We get to build these amazing vacations that are dreams in the making for them that they talk about at their Thanksgiving and Christmas tables. And that just gets me excited every day to wake up and go to work. Well, you, you've really advanced through the company. You've been in all parts of the company. You've seen all the different parts and now you're here and now you can really kind of strategize to, for the future for this brand, which is one of the big brands for Royal Caribbean Group. Yeah. Now, uh, we go out to about 126,000 travel advisors. In fact, I walked on with about a thousand of them from cruise, uh, cruise planners. <laughs> yes, they're having a conference uh, They're before. here. I was, I was at their conference right before and yes. now they're here. Uh, uh, what do you want to say to all those advisors out there about this new ship and uh, or you know this the, the the fourth in the edge class and what do you want to say to them about celebrity today? 
Well, first I want to say thank you. We can't do this without you. Um, this year has been amazing. We've had record travel agent bookings, and that's because of all of the support that we get from our travel agent partners. When I think about Celebrity Ascent, I'm actually going to use something. Um, one of the travel agent partners that I talked to, because I asked, how do you sell Celebrity Cruises? How do your agents sell Celebrity Cruises? And what they said to me really stuck with me. They said, we're not saying that you're equivalent to the Four Seasons or the Shangri-La Hotels, but the reason that I use that analogy, Laura, is because we sell you like we sell those. Because it doesn't matter what ship, it doesn't matter where in the world it is, the quality and the level of hospitality that you will get from Celebrity Cruises consistently, no matter where you are on what ship, whether it's the newest one or the, the, the oldest one in your fleet, is absolutely stellar and spectacular. Mm -hmm. And so what I would say to all the travel agent partners is that that's our promise and commitment, is that we will make sure that we consistently do that each and every day so that you can sell us with confidence. Well, Laura, I want to thank you for taking some time to spend with me. I, uh, you know, I know you're pretty busy on this uh, two-day thing. Such a pleasure. And, and you have another two-day thing coming up with the christening. Um, I actually, I got, I got the call. I get to be in Love Voyage tonight, Ooh, which is what I'm awesome. excited about. And I just saw Daniel Ballou in New York. So it's kind uh, of interesting, amazing. a wonderful guy. Yeah. Uh, but again, thank you so much. It's, it's been great to see this ship and this new class. And it's great to see your career as you've advanced here. And again, congratulations. And let's see what, you know, I think it's going to be amazing. Oh, thank you so much. Wonderful to spend time with you and with all of your wonderful travel agent partners. I'm Jane Schellinglaw, and this is Insider Travel Report.